Today's video is sponsored by Buxu. Check my link down below for 10% off. Hey Greens, and welcome to trying more viral TikTok trends. More specifically, we're going to be looking at a TikTok trend about a fantasy interactive plushie called Magic Mixies. And the video that introduced me to this item is well over 21 million views. Yes, 21 million views. Holy carp, good for you. I hope I can get there one day. And as we watch the video, you'll see that basically the idea is you pour in whatever items they give you from this set. It makes cute little noises, it makes a huge kind of mist, and poof, you get a plushie. But this item is sold out everywhere. Good luck finding one. How did I find one? Funny story. So as you can see on the Toys R Us website, it says it is sold out. However, when I went there, lo and behold, there was one, one on the shelf. So I have a feeling Salty Crafter was flying around in the, un the universe. You could see her floating in the universe. I don't know. Don't ask questions. And probably grabbed one. She manifests directly from the universe. And just for me, put it straight on the shelf. <laughs> And as the box says, this plushie is supposed to be able to do 50 different sounds and reactions. So I'm really curious if this product that cost me $150, yes, I spent $150, because Canadian money is... If it's actually worth the cash, or if it goes... In the trees! If you've had experience with this, let me know in the comment section below. I am extremely curious what your experience was, because it's either a hit or a miss, so... I want to know. And for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We check out all weird kind of trends, whether they're on TikTok or online or wherever. We're curious little fellas. Click on all notifications while you're there. Yes, this is a sharp pointy thing. The thing that worries me most on top of being $150 is that we don't get a second chance. If we mess it up, we basically mess it up. So let's see what we get inside. Hello? Oh, my gosh. oh, okay. Eight hours later. Aha! The wand is out. Voila. That was quite the adventure. Okay. Oh, oh, that is packed. Holy carp. Okay, two ways to play. So we have the instructions. Oh, and a battery. Oh, don't tell me I have to charge this. Okay, supervision information. Good to know. I'm gonna have to scan that. We have a little potion bottle. Very cute. Okay, this is step one. And then, okay, more cardboard. Oh, okay. We have a box of things. Oh, the different steps. Okay, so this is our spell book. And then we have step three and four. Step two, seven steps. Holy shrimp. Okay. You know what? I kind of really like the fact that it comes in this tiny gem box and all the steps are in there. Very nicely organized. I can, appre Ooh, that's the book. I can appreciate that. And what is that? What are you? I have no idea. A bonus mist refill. Okay. Okay. And do I remove these cardboards? You know what? Let's wait. Let's wait and see. We also have the instruction guide. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, let me read this real quick and then we're gonna check out what this QR code is and we, we go do it. Just give me some time. <laughs> A few minutes later. All right, so the instructions seem clear enough. However, I wasn't sure if the batteries need to be charged or not because according to the instructions, we should have two... Oh, there you are. Two modes of play. We have mist, which is basically the entire experience, or spell, which is without the entire experience, just kind of tapping on the thing. And from what I see, it's automatically on on. So the battery has been used this entire time. So was it on off? 
so I'm gonna have to charge it for an hour. But I'm also curious on this QR code over here, what you got for me. Okay, so the QR code is bringing us to the Moose Toys website. Okay, how to. Let's go ahead, press this video, and let's see what's going on. Okay, you know what? I kind of want to watch it on YouTube. Proceed. There we go. Ooh, that is pretty mist, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to check it out. Okay, so far we've done everything that's been asked. We've unboxed it, even though that, that did take longer than I should admit. <laughs> Oh, the bottom says you don't need to charge your cauldron the first time you play. However, I did see some negative reviews saying that this did not work and it was probably lacking battery. So instead of taking that risk, I'm gonna actually charge it and come back and then we're gonna do it. It, it should be pretty straightforward. We're just gonna fill the water up and it should be smooth sailing from there. And you know what? It's red, so I think that was a good call. All right, so the first thing they tell us is to fill this thing, which I have gone ahead and done, now that the batteries are full. Okay, and now we have to divide. So we have step three, four, five, six. We're step, okay, this is step two, like gusso, and seven. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have a spell book. Oh, okay, this is way easier than reading the instructions. It's basically pictures. <laughs> <laughs> that I like. Okay, so the first thing we do is we look for a glowing light. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Close this. Is there, is there a glowing light? Do I have to tap something? Tap, tap sound. Listen for the tap, tap sound. Where's the tap, tap sound? Do I have to tap? That's confusing. One, two, three. Hello? Where's the glowing green? Is this broken? Okay, so this is off. This is on. Let me see what's going on. Okay, I understand. I watched their video and the green light's actually on the inside and it only gets initiated after we put the water. Okay, let, I'm, I'm gonna stand up because it's real now. We're gonna put the water. Oh! That's the cauldron. Okay, let's stir. It's supposed to make like three knocks. Oh, talk, talk, talk. So now, if it does the three taps, now we tap. Okay. O okay. <laughs> now what? Okay, so now we're giving it its voice. So we're gonna go with number two. And we pour this entire bag. Oh. Already? Hang on. Let me stir. Okay, very cool. Alright, now we had the three. I get it! Don't rush me! Okay, three more taps. Hang on. Let me look on the inside. It's not fully dissolved yet, so let's keep stirring. And the light is not green. It's kind of bluish. There you go. Okay, that looks pretty dissolved to me. And it did do its three taps. Let's go ahead. Three taps. Hello? Are you green? Oh! Three taps. One, two, three. Okay, now we're step three, which is this little star. I got you, I got you. Okay, here's the star. It's a little broken, but we got you. So this is supposed to be Mixie's eyes. Let's stir. Does it do anything? So, so far, it's just basically blending in there. We're getting a yellow, yellow water. Let's break it up a bit. There you go. Let's keep listening for the three thumps. Oh, three, three taps. So, one, two, three. Step four, the feather. Oh, it made bird noises. Did you hear, that? let's hear that again. And here's the feather in Yago, like us all. And we stir. I wonder if it dissolves. And each step is basically stirring until we hear the three taps. I'm curious when the actual this foamy thing goes foam. Uh, those bubble noises. <laughs> the mist. I'm, I'm looking for the mist. Okay, we got the three taps. Now it's for step five, which is supposed to be Mixie's color. I hear you, okay. Okay, there we go. I was like, please work. Okay, here we go. 
Those are really cute sound effects. Oh, what are you? Oh, it feels like a bath bomb. Doesn't smell like anything. Here it is. In your go. Is it fizzing? No. Okay. So this is Mixie's color. How are we doing in here? Okay, everything is yellow. Very interesting. There's no smell. It's just constantly bubbling. Okay, we got our three claps. Now we're adding a crystal creation. That was weird and oddly not satisfying. <laughs> okay, what are you? <coughs> Smells kind of like glycerin. Can't tell really. In you go. All right, let's stir. And I'm guessing this is basically when it should start. I have to admit, this whole process is actually really cute. Okay. Okay, three taps. Oh, and then the last thing is... The last thing is name your mixie. Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's happening? I didn't name it! I didn't... What's happening? That's a lot of steam. Okay, hang on. Oh my gosh, holy smokes, holy smokes. Let me put a background so you can see. Oh my gosh, that, that's all, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't name it. Um, let's, I dubbed the uh, pumpernickel in there. Oh wow, oh, what's that smell? Holy shrimp. Okay, I can't, I can't see what's in there, but I'm giving you a closer view. <laughs> oh, okay. smell oh I don't like that I don't <coughs> oh wow that is oh, that is probably the foulest smell holy shrimp I'm legitimately crying right now like I'm tearing from how bad this smell is and it's making me cough so badly holy moly and here's our creation <coughs> give me a second let me let me just get a breather here Okay, I am back. I am composed. The best way I can describe the smell is almost like burnt tires, kind of rubber-esque. Not as intense or tar-like, but definitely very invasive. The effect honestly is really cute, but holy shrimp, my lungs took a beating. So if whoever's using this has issues with lungs, stay further than I am. Enjoy the mist from further. <laughs> Okay, here's our character. Here's our little mixie named Pump. Oh, why is it wet? Hello? Okay, how do I pull you out? Eh. Oh my gosh, how do I pull you out? Oh no, I'm guessing I have to twist it because this thing shows twisty. So let's twist like, like this. Did I, are you out? Oh. Can I get you out? Hello? Do I continue twisting you? I feel like it's making fun of me at this point. Oh, you're strapped in. Okay. Okay, you're strapped in. I got you. I got you, fam. Oh, okay. There you, there you go. You're free. Whoa. Did it just snore? <laughs> It's like me! Okay, so it's kind of a flat character. Interesting. Okay, so first things first is this is not... Are you done? It's not a 3D-ish character. It's kind of flat in the back and we do have the on and off so we can let it go to sleep at night. Otherwise, it's just gonna keep saying hi. And the fluff is extremely soft. I mean, really soft, but okay. I heard you say hi! Stop it! Okay, now, there are three ways that we can interact with this pumpernickel named character. And it's not a surprise. I think, I think they only come in both blue and pink. So whatever cauldron you pick up is the one of the color you're going to get. I haven't seen many different faces, so it's just the color that you're getting, which is different. So we can either do a quick spell. Okay, it fell asleep. With one quick tap. Let's see one quick tap. 
Are you? Let's wake it up. You're good, fam. One tap. Is this not working? Where's the tap? <laughs> the fart and the snorting. Holy moly. Okay, hang on. Okay, so there's the tip of the wand. So let's try that. Oh. Okay, or two quick taps. What's the difference? So one tap. And then two tap. And then two taps is wish mode. I'm not really getting an indication of when one tap is registered or two taps. Let's try two taps. One, two. Oh, there you go. Wishing go. Okay, now let's do. <laughs> this is cute, but holy moly. Okay, and then stop it for two seconds. Thank you. Okay, now we can hold the wand here. What is. <laughs> well, that's scary. This is enchantment mode. Okay, those are really cute modes. And it says the more that you do this, the more these spells and the words and the vocabulary will increase. The other thing is, is that the interactions with the spell mode makes it so that if the gem turns green, it's a yes. If the gem turns red, it's a no. So you have to try again. So let's try the two quick taps and make a wish. Wishing, I wish for more salt. What color will you give me? Red! You son of a biscuit. Let's try again. Salt, please. Green or red? Wow! Two reds! You just get. I'm done. It's making fun of me. Okay, upon further reading, apparently we can pet it. Right here? Okay, cute. What does that do though? The more you pet it, the happier it gets. I'm gonna pet it. And I'm gonna hope that we actually get the real... Let's get a green gem now. More salt. Wishingo! Give me a green gem. There you go, I just needed to pet you. <laughs> this is fun. If I were to have gotten this, I wouldn't have been upset. It's very cute. Is it pricey? Absolutely. Be careful of the counterfeits out there or even the false post. False posting. I'm gonna, how do I turn you off? Are you off now? Okay, it's off. Let's put you here. Because when I tried to find this and it was sold out everywhere, on Google, when I searched it, it gave me a posting on AliExpress. And when I clicked it, it showed this character with the cauldron. But then upon further inspection, as you scroll, the video shows you just the empty cauldron. And they do charge quite a bit for it. So be very careful, very careful. And because I want to see this in the actual lighting of it, because it's supposed to flash rainbow when you do the enchantment, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off if you have any kind of light sensitivities skip forward to this time All right, so here it is. Let's turn it back on Okay, so we're gonna do the little hold for the weird enchantment where we had like Where we had horses and whatnots. So let's do this That is really weird <laughs> So it seems like we didn't get horses this time, but yeah, the lighting is definitely pretty interesting. But let me try this again. Hmm. 
We didn't get horses again this time. So I guess it's either on or off. You know what? Let me turn the lights back on. And I just realized something else. So the legs were a little bit this way, but there seems to be wires in the legs to actually make it poseable, which is really neat. And also the hands, very cute. It is overall soft with a little bit of a hard part. The face is a plastic, which is pretty good. Again, let's make a, this time you make a wish. It's your wish. Oh, I turned it off. You make a wish and you'll see if you get green or red. Wishing go. And you get, you get a yes. Good for you. So in order to see the difference between the starting point and it having more vocabulary, I'm going to go ahead and use it for a couple more days. So you're going to see a different scene of me right after this, of using it for a couple days to see the different vocabulary it gets. It's mocking me again. Three days later. And so here we are a few days later. Let's hear it. So I'm gonna turn it off for now. <laughs> As you can hear, there are minor changes in the vocabulary. Not that huge, but yeah, there's different variations of different sounds. So I would say, yeah, it's there. Not quite pronounced, but it is there. And they just don't talk, so don't expect much. So what do I personally think about the Magic Mixies? I actually think they're pretty good. For a novelty toy, yes, it's expensive, but it's definitely way cheaper in the US. But if it's a really big gift to yourself or to a little one, not sponsored, not affiliated, I think it has a lot of potential and there's a lot of cuteness and good memories that will probably last a long time. Again, not sponsored, not affiliated. I thought it would be pretty salty, but this is, I mean, it is pretty cute. And uh, it just, it reminds me of my childhood. So I thought it would be salty and uh, yeah, I stand corrected. It must be the fart noises it makes. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, let's talk about today's sponsor and huge supporter, Boksu. For those of you who don't know Boksu, they are a monthly Japanese snack subscription box that focuses on premium Japanese snacks, not just dagashi. They are by far my favorite subscription box. And every month you'll get about 20 to 25 different snacks centered around a specific theme. However, as a first time subscriber, you'll be getting something called Seasons of Japan. As you can see here, you get so many cool things in this box. Let's try a couple snacks. These are my two favorites. Aomori Apple Caramel. Yes. Yes. It really does have this caramel apple smell. Look at you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A pear Longdusha. These are huge in Japan because they get them as souvenirs. Ooh, yes. Look at that. Yes. Mm-hmm. I want like a whole box of these. In addition to the goodies, you're also getting a cute little magazine that gives you cultural information and lets you know if these snacks have allergens or if they're vegetarian friendly or not. And I love that Boxu partners up with over 100 years old companies in Japan because it makes your experience more authentic. So what are you waiting for? Check my link down below and my code NERDYCRAFTER10 to get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack subscription box from Boxu. Thank you Boxu for sponsoring today's video and being huge supporters of this channel. Let me know in the comments section below what do you think i know in the us it's closer to 50 or 60 dollars but again canada money if you want to watch more reviews more specifically fidget toys make sure you check up here and if you want to watch something a little crafty make sure you check down here until then i will see you grains in the next video